Okay guys, today I'm going to talk to you about two more tarot cards and the first one is going to be the Hermit. This one. Yep. Okay. The Hooded Hermit, clad in a hood and a heavy grey cloak, stands alone on a mountain peak. In the left hand he holds a long and sturdy staff and in the right a lantern to help him find his way through the darkness on the perilous rocky track. Now mine's different, like I always say, mine is on a beach with water. Right. The hermit is wise and all-knowing and is sometimes referred to as the ancient of days. While he may seem to be alone, he is really a guide for those spiritual travellers who are climbing the mystic mountain a little lower down the slope. His lantern provides the beacon of inspiration, banishing the dark forces of ignorance and negativity and guiding them ever closer to their goal of union with the divine. It's spiritual interpretation. The hermit wends his way up the magic mountain by his final goal of the mystical union with the oneness of the Godhead is firmly in his mind and the lamp he holds aloft illumin illuminates the pathway for all spiritual seekers who follow in his footsteps. Right? It's, it's meaning in a tarot spread. This card is associated with solitude and con contemplation. The spiritual journey is all important in your life at this time. Drawing this card signifies that you may soon meet someone who will become your spiritual guide and who can show you new possibilities for growth and heightened awareness. It also signifies a willingness on your part to accept help when it is offered. Be patient, however, for the spiritual path is a long and arduous and there are no quick answers or easy solutions. Use your powers of discrimination and decisement in moving forward and trust the light and wisdom of your own inner guidance. Right, it's reverse meaning is this way. When you pull it that way. You reject the guidance and the good counsel offered by others. You seem unwilling to avail yourself of new experiences. You offer too much resistance or create obstacles for yourself along the way. Your pride and ego are getting in the way of your spiritual understanding. Now the self-development lesson. The spiritual path that takes us through the darkness of our ignorance and leads us towards the light is narrow and not without its challenges. However, if you open your heart and mind to spiritual guidance when it is presented to you, you will overcome the obstacles that appear before you and eventually reach your goal. Okay, that was about the hermit. The next I'm going to talk about is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is the Wheel of Fortune. Right. Adapted from the Wheel of Ezekiel, the tarot card known as the Wheel of Fortune is dominated by the wheel motif in the centre located at the four corners of the card are the four cent creatures mentioned in Isaac Hill 1, 10 and, relevant, and the Revelations 4, 7. They represent the four fixed signs of the zodiac and are as follows. The bull, Taurus, the lion, Leo, the eagle, Scorpio and the human, Aquarius. The rim of the wheel has the letters R-O-T-A for Taro, Taro inscribed upon it. Interspited with the Hebrew letters J-H-V-H which make up the sacred name of God, the wheel itself has eight spokes. The three uppermost spokes have their tips and reading from left to right 
the alchemical symbols for salt, mercury and sulphur, while the lowest tip has the astrological symbol for Aquarius seated on top of the wheel in a sphinx representing the true spiritual self. While on the lower right hand side are, we see the Hermanubis, the Grecio Egyptian deity who represents the evolution of human consciousness. Sorry if I've pronounced anything wrong again. Mine doesn't actually look like that. Like I said, my cards are different to what I'm reading to you. Okay. Now, spiritual interpretation. The message of this card is essentially that while the cycles of changes are part of everyday life, the essence of the spiritual reality is timeless and unchanging. This tarot card symbolizes the force of fate and destiny. In a tarot spread, you are assured of success. The position and the nature of other cards in your spread may provide an indication of the sort of success you can expect. Drawing this card signifies that the laws of destiny favor you at this time and your relationships at home and in the business will prosper. Now it's reverse meaning. You are out of luck for the moment. This is a time to summon your reserve of strength and courage. You may be experiencing a setback at present, but do persist because in due course you will reap what you sow. Good times lie ahead. Now there's a self-development lesson so I'll tell you that. It may be a glitch, but it also happens to be true. The only thing certain in life is change. We all experience the lows and the highs of everyday existence. But finally, the spiral of change tends, tre tends upward as we grow in spiritual awareness. Sorry again for the mispronunciation of any words. I am sorry. I have mentioned it before that I'm dyslexic, so I'm sorry. Um, and I want to thank the few people that left a comment on my video about Wicker and Parents. It has helped and I have took some of the advice so thank you very much everyone and blessed be.